There have been many eye-catching perspectives from the super heavy liftoff effort, but the one I've been eagerly awaiting, the inside view, has finally made its debut. It reveals some fascinating insights. It looks like B-12 is ready for the next phase. Falcon Heavy has not only completed its Europa Clipper mission, reaching major milestones and setting new records, but it's also laid the groundwork for SpaceX to soon celebrate its 100th launch. This incredible journey underscores SpaceX's innovative spirit in pioneering efforts in space exploration. What a great October, huh? Join us as we explore the highlights in today's NR Studio episode. Super Heavy B-12 is now safely positioned on its orbital launch pad, following what Elon Musk described as a challenging journey. But the hardships have made their mark on history. Let's take a moment to revisit this event from a new perspective. SpaceX recently unveiled a stunning flight view inside its X vehicle, featuring a stunning top-down perspective. It gives us a comprehensive look at the vast area encompassing the launch site. However, the main focus remains on the Super Heavy system. In this perspective, we can clearly observe the grid fins diligently controlling the thrusters, a critical component in accurately directing B-12 to the center of the chopsticks for a successful capture. We observe the moment the landing combustion engine ignites, indicated by a prominent flame. He initially large, the flame tapers off as the center ring engine oscillates on and off during the burn. From a bottom-up perspective, the B-12's central engine performs exceptionally well. In addition to providing the critical force needed for deceleration, the gimbal engine consistently recalibrates its orientation, guiding B-12 along the precise trajectory. SpaceX states that the final phase of Super Heavy's landing utilizes the three central Raptor engines to expertly maneuver into the capture position. What truly captured my interest was that one side of the booster, particularly near the quick disconnect QD area of the ship, appeared to exhibit a significantly more intense burn. From different perspectives, we can also note that, although the fire wasn't extensive, it burned with considerable intensity. When comparing the live stream with the post-flight images, it becomes evident that the shine on the QD side of the ship appears to be slightly compromised, likely due to the fire sustained during landing. Fortunately, the damage is minimal and can be effortlessly repaired. In the onboard footage, we are treated to a clear, slow-motion glimpse of the precise moment Super Heavy engages with the chopsticks. This allows us to closely witness this remarkable feat in detail. It's a flawless blend orchestrated with precision to the very second. The design of the chopsticks is impressively proactive. After they close, the lifting point makes contact with the landing rail, subsequently lowering the booster. This seamless operation exemplifies precision engineering at its finest. This step generated numerous concerns prior to the flight. However, witnessing its seamless operation instilled in me a strong sense of confidence regarding the success of forthcoming missions. Musk confidently asserted that there is a strong possibility the Starship will attain full-stack reusability by 2025, a pivotal breakthrough essential for making life multiplanetary. And that's how the arduous journey of Super Heavy B-12 came to a close. As SpaceX continues to share more data, we uncover increasingly captivating insights from observing Mechazilla's successful retrieval of the Super Heavy booster. It's no exaggeration to deem it one of the most significant aerospace achievements of the first half of this decade. Incredible. Musk stated that it is a tremendous honor to collaborate with the remarkable SpaceX team. I truly value this statement from Elon. If you concur, please type incredible in the comments section below to pay tribute to the remarkable efforts of the SpaceX team. Your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's extraordinary journey. Following this remarkable landing, there remains a substantial amount of work to be done by both B-12 and the SpaceX team. On the morning of October 14th, Texas time, just a day after the launch and the attempted recovery, the booster transport stand was relocated to the launch site, heralding the impending movement of B-12. By noon, the Flight Termination System, FTS, was successfully detached from the booster, paving the way for the subsequent phases of the operation. In addition, a concise road closure schedule has been communicated. From 12 noon to 3 p.m. on October 15th, 
and from 12 midnight until 3 a.m. on October 16. SpaceX is expected to transport B-12 to the production site, where it will undergo comprehensive inspections, including assessments of its shine and engines, followed by refurbishment. Given the present circumstances, it seems likely that B-12 may be scheduled for a second flight. The prototypes for the upcoming flight have already been identified. S-31 and B-13, as well as S-32 and B-14. Should B-12 take to the skies once more? Which vessel do you anticipate it will be paired with? S-20, S-26, or possibly a V-2 prototype? I invite you to share your insights in the comments section below. Regardless of what unfolds in the future, SpaceX has successfully initiated the journey toward achieving full reusability. Both the booster and the ship will require additional upgrades to reach that objective. However, the success of Flight 5 establishes a solid foundation for more frequent flights. I anticipate that we will witness another launch before the year concludes. Let us bide our time and observe. Now let's delve into the latest updates regarding the Falcon Heavy mission. On October 14th, at precisely 6 p.m., the hour hand pointed to 12. At 1.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, a Falcon Heavy rocket lifted off from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, transporting NASA's Europa Clipper spacecraft. Given the distinct requirements of this mission, all three Falcon Heavy boosters were designated as expendable. This contrasts with most earlier flights, during which the side boosters were recovered for future use. Following the completion of the upper stage's second burn, which positioned the spacecraft on an Earth escape trajectory, the Europa Clipper successfully separated from the stage a little over an hour after liftoff. Minutes later, the spacecraft established communication with ground controllers, transmitting telemetry that confirmed it was in outstanding condition. The Europa Clipper mission stands as one of NASA's most costly scientific undertakings, with an estimated total life cycle expenditure of $5.2 billion. This ambitious project highlights the agency's commitment to unraveling the mysteries of Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. This encompasses a total of four years of operations following its arrival at Jupiter in 2030. The mission seeks to investigate the ice-covered waters of Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, potentially broadening the horizons of human knowledge and exploration. Musk remarked on this mission, stating that Europa possesses the greatest potential for harboring life within our solar system, owing to the dense protective layer of ice that envelops its ocean. If even the most basic forms of bacterial life are found on Europa, it would mark the most significant planetary mission to date, Musk emphasized. Despite facing developmental hurdles, particularly related to transistors, the Europa Clipper team successfully maintained their timetable. Thanks to the steadfast support of Falcon Heavy, the mission launch proved to be a resounding success. Despite expending all three booster cores, Falcon Heavy was unable to deliver Europa Clipper directly to Jupiter. Instead, the spacecraft is set to perform a flyby of Mars in early 2025, followed by another flyby of Earth in late 2026, before ultimately reaching Jupiter in April 2030. This mission has garnered significant acclaim stated NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. Today, we embark on a new journey across the solar system in pursuit of the essential ingredients for life within Jupiter's icy moon. Our next chapter in the journey of space exploration has commenced. Musk proudly expressed his sentiments, noting that this is one of our most significant launches to date. He conveyed his satisfaction, stating how glad he is that everything went smoothly. This launch signifies the Falcon Heavy's second mission of the year and its 11th to date. Although not as prolific as the previous year, it nonetheless showcases a commendable performance for SpaceX. Following delays due to inclement weather and an FAA investigation, this achievement marks a remarkable resurgence for Falcon Heavy. But what holds greater significance? This marks SpaceX's 99th mission of 2024, surpassing their previous record of 98 missions set last year. This milestone underscores SpaceX's steadfast dominance in the space industry, with two and a half months remaining in the year to further extend this remarkable record. Although Falcon Heavy may not undertake another launch this year, the Falcon 9 and potentially Starship will continue to spearhead SpaceX's expanding orbital fleet. SpaceX is undeniably at the forefront of revolutionizing space exploration. 
Its innovations are paving the way for unprecedented advancements in the field. Let us explore the remarkable achievements that await us. On the journey toward unparalleled success, we must underscore SpaceX's 100th mission of the year, a truly remarkable milestone. As this video is being produced, the mission has yet to launch. However, by the time you are viewing it, it may have already achieved remarkable success. This mission is executed by the Falcon 9 rocket, which takes off from SLC-40 in Florida, transporting 23 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. The booster designated for this launch, B-1080, is embarking on its 11th mission. This season booster boasts a distinguished legacy, having successfully launched the Axiom 2 and 3 missions, along with two Cargo Dragon missions and the Euclid Telescope for the European Space Agency. After its payload delivery is complete, B-1080 will land on the shortfall of Gravitas drone ship. If successful, it will mark the 81st landing on this particular drone ship and the 353rd booster landing in SpaceX history. This mission is especially significant because it marks the 95th Falcon 9 launch of the year, further cementing SpaceX's record for most launches in a calendar year. However, combined with the two Falcon Heavy missions and three Starship missions, this launch will officially elevate SpaceX to an astonishing 100 launches in 2024, a milestone no other organization has ever achieved and one that SpaceX narrowly missed last year. The significance of this milestone cannot be overstated. It is incredible that SpaceX has accomplished so many groundbreaking feats in just a matter of days. Their relentless innovation continues to push the boundaries of aerospace technology. With the rest of the year ahead of us, we can look forward to even more incredible records. I'm currently in the process of putting together a year-end video that will recap SpaceX's incredible accomplishments in 2024. See you in the next one.